Hello, and welcome to Miller Games. Today we are going to be playing The Curious Expedition. I came across this game earlier today when I was browsing through Steam, and it looked pretty interesting, and I want to give it a shot. Um, so the game is set in the 19th century, and we play as one of many famous people. Uh, I've just, I've basically taken a look at this menu so far. Um, so we have three of the characters unlocked, and... If we click on one of the portraits, it tells us how to unlock this character, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how long each campaign is, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll play through a couple of them, maybe we'll play through all of them. Um, you might notice right off the bat that my overlay is slightly different. My face is now facing the other direction. That is because I've changed uh, recording software, basically. The recording software I was using did not work for this game the game didn't activate it, so I couldn't actually record anything. Um, nonetheless, let's jump on in. So we have three choices right now. We can play as Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist best known for his contributions to the evolutionary theory, uh, and he is a butterfly enthusiast, gaining sanity each time a butterfly is collected. And we get a Scottish, uh, I'm assuming this is what we start with, a Scottish soldier, uh, as much a tough warrior as a fine gentleman. We get a Persian translator. This scholar will improve your communication with indigenous tribes. And our donkey. Donkeys can carry many additional crates. That seems useful. I'm assuming that there's some kind of inventory management in this game based on what I've seen in the Steam um, video. We also get chocolate rations. Delicious chocolate wrapped in foil. We get a torch. Uh, three torches. A uh, torch can come in handy whenever you need to bring light to a dark place or just see, set something on fire. We get a shotgun, your best friend in dark times. And we get 10 machetes? I'm assuming that we waste a machete every time we use it. Excellent tools for cutting all manner of things. So that's Charles Darwin. Next we have uh, Mary Curie. Uh, conducted pioneering research on radioactivity and first woman to win a Nobel Prize. Uh, polymath. Choose from five perks as opposed to three. That seems pretty good. I, I haven't played this game at all yet, so maybe I'm thinking that the perks are random at the beginning of the game, but we'll see. She gets a missionary. The spiritual and moral backbone of the trek allows to rest for free in missions and increases maximum sanity. Okay, so he gets this kind of uh, sanity heal, whereas she just gets higher maximum sanity. I wonder if you can lose these characters. Like, I wonder if our missionary can die. She gets a hunting dog, man's best friend. Enough said. And a donkey. Okay, so... Both of them get a donkey. Uh, Marie Curie also gets chocolates, torches, first aid kit. I do like first aid kits in basically any video game. Extra bullets. Also good, although she doesn't seem to have a gun. We'll add an additional combat die. Oh, it's a dice game. Cool. And climbing gear. Climbing gear makes passing through elevated territory much easier. That could be good too. What does he get? The machete. Alright, and then we have Richard Francis Burton. Heroic adventurer with excellent knowledge of languages and cultures. Uh, polyglot or polyglot allows one to rest in native villages without uh, standing costs and increased, increases gain sanity. That might be good. I have no idea how often we see, we see native villages or anything. He gets a British soldier as opposed to our Scottish soldier. Every trek needs at least one person in the front line. This is your man. He finds great satisfaction in combat. I don't know if I want someone in my party who finds great satisfaction in combat. I mean, self-defense is one thing, but... Uh, and then we also get a native scout. No one is better in scouting unknown regions. Um, we get our whiskey. Bottle of aged whiskey, sing single malt, obviously, used to refill some sanity. Seems pretty good. Torches, ropes, rule number one, the most important item of every self-respecting adventurer. What, so if I don't bring a rope, I'm not self-respecting? What if you're not climbing at all? What if you're just like going through the rainforest? Uh, in which case our machete would be the best. And then we get our shovel, rule number two, never leave the house without a shovel. I don't think I've ever left the house with a shovel. Except maybe to uh, shovel snow. Can be used to dig things up, or dig up things. Um, I think we're going to try with Charles Darwin in our first run here, and just see how that goes. Um, finish the game in first rank. Let's just jump in. Oh, shoot. I think he's going to welcome back. 
Uh, word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. What statue? Oh no! Does it just go? You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Cool, now go and explore. Advent adventure awaits. Are these our rivals? So we have Mary Curie, uh, Frederick, Courtney, Salou. I don't, I don't know who that is. Richard Francis Burton and H.P. Lovecraft. So let's tourist trip. Good for beginning players and people that enjoy narration. Let's go straight into the standard difficulty. Pretty tough, but man manageable. This might be a death sentence right off the bat. Choose your next def destination. So can we... Oh, okay, we're going to the sad jungle. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I made my way to the docks. We had some more time before the ship would be ready, so I sat on the pier and waited. Someone walked up to me and pleaded for my help. He desired to have a message delivered. Ooh, red text. Uh, in old RPG games, or kind of text-based games, that would mean you could ask about it or talk about it. He desired to have a message delivered to the chief of a village located in the region we were headed to. Sure, why not? He handed us a sealed envelope, which I promised to deliver. Just in time, the ship was prepared to head for distant shores. Let's set sail. Oh, that's the letter. Um, I'm assuming one of these is Sanity. Oh, yeah, I did play like 30 seconds of the tutorial. Um, from what I understand, we have Fog of War. So if we move closer to this kind of border, we'll be able to see a little further. And we every time we move, we lose some sanity. That's all I did in the tutorial, so we're probably gonna fail miserably. After barely surviving one of the monstrous, uh, one of the most monstrous thunderstorms I've ever witnessed on a ship shoreline. Um, on a ship, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. I should slow down when I'm reading. I was curious to find what adventures were waiting for us there. So it's just uh, the three of us, right? Oh, can I? Okay, so I can actually look at the stats of my people here. Capacity, that's awesome. Donkey has three capacity. Um, access ship storage. No, oh, never mind. Um, begin expedition. It might be best to deliver the letter first. Conveniently, the man had pinpointed the location of the village on our map. That is convenient. Especially that we have a map of a location that's never been explored. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it'll take us 16 set. Sorry, 17 sanity. That's... Uh, I can't... And two machetes, I think? Oh, wait, so the machetes to go through the forest there. Very useful. Well, let's go ahead and do it. That's our sanity at the top. A hundred. Let's travel. <laughs> Those are all our little people. That's pretty cool. I do like the look of the game, and I, I, I enjoy uh, text or hex-based games. They're always pretty neat. We entered the native... A native village. We encountered a tribe that seemed to be in reverence of the spirit world. The air was filled with a delicious scent. The villagers kindly waved us over and offered uh, some of their freshly cooked food. Loot. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that means accept their gracious offer. Cooked animal meat. Sweet. Take it all. Uh, the natives observed us with curiosity. They were kind and offered to help our cause. Upon our arrival, Afrin Tata began to converse with the natives. Is that one of our guys? Oh, that's our Persian translator. Cool. Uh, deliver the letter. We brought the letter to the village chief. To reward us, he told us about the best sites to see in the region, including a holy shrine which he marked on our map. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Uh, re recruit. I talked to the villagers to find out if some villagers were interested in to join my cause. Not long after, I had assembled some volunteers and needed to decide who to recruit. A water buffalo. A water buffalo. Wait. These water buffaloes volunteered to join us? I guess maybe our Persian translator can speak water buffalo. Good to know. Sumat the animal handler. Well, I mean, if we are going to have animals, we might want an animal handler. Dice. Two defensive, I'm assuming, and two attack. Die. Toughness four. What are our other guys here? Toughness six, toughness eight. Oh, it's two attack die and two movement die. I have I don't know what these dice do. Whiskey expert, butterfly, indigenous dipl diplomacy. What is he got? Animal capacity one. Increases the inventory size for all pack animals. That might be pretty good, especially because we already have this donkey. So let's go with Suma. Suma, the animal handler, has joined our trek. We felt comfortable in the midst of our 
of the overjoyed villagers. Let's trade. Okay, spear, a rather pointy spear usable in combat will add an additional combat die. That seems useful. Oh, okay, so it's one spear, but it has five out of five charges. This is one machete with eight out of twenty charges. I got it. That was a special dice. Horn flute. A peculiar organic organic object that produces a faint and unnatural sound. It seems to be a, a dis, seems to be able to distract wildlife. Three out of twenty. Uh, a native trinket, a precisely, per, <laughs> preciously crafted trinket with golden elements that make a great present, will improve the loyalty of a person gifted. Um, cool. Mini puppets, small puppets that can take away fears before going to sleep. Hmm, I don't know. I think if I was sleeping around these mini puppets, they'd probably add some fears. Red mushroom. This pecu peculiar mushroom has a rather bad smell. Despite its taste, it has a very potent healing abilities and is, in general, beneficial to one's health. Cool. And mango. Sweet mango is delicious, but they spoil quickly. I mean, how do we know the cost of things? What What are things worth? Okay, so it doesn't actually have a price, but we have this meter... Okay, cool. I like that. That's neat. Um, I think for now, since we don't really know what anything does, I, we're going to assume that what we have is good. And let's just continue. We did not come to an agreement with the natives. Oh, I hope that's not bad. Let's rest in the village. Will that increase our sanity? We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their camp. In a quiet moment, one of the villager elders asked my opinion on a delicate matter. He asked us if we knew who had created humankind. Ooh, okay, we're going to... This is probably the wrong choice, but we're going to play in character as Charles Darwin and say evolution. We explained to him that in our opinion, I like that, in our opinion, humans were a natural result of evolution. He nodded quietly as he listened to our explanation. Cool. Sleep. The night was peaceful and quiet. The next morning I woke by a group of native children seemingly making fun about me for oversleeping. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. 100 out of 100 sanity, that's awesome. Uh, let's leave. I told the men to pack up and we departed as new adventures awaited us. Sumap stayed behind. Oh, what? Sumap stayed behind for some time as he had some more business to attend to with the villagers. However, he caught up with the trek not long after he left. Oh, wait, never mind. After we had left. So we are keeping Sumap. Um, oh, is that our new. Aren't we over here? That's where we're supposed to be going. Oh, wait, so it says enter village because we're here. Um, no, I don't really want to go through there and make some machete. So let's go all the way around. We have a question mark here. Let's maybe figure out what that is. So far, I am enjoying this game. It's cool how once we get another party member, they actually appear in our little posse there. Let's enter the hut. And the art style is really neat. The music is um, very fitting for the game as well, very soothing, and I'm sure the combat music will be cool too. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was dark and damp inside with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Trade. As if time was moving slower for him, the shaman got out a bag made of animal hide and presented his wares, barter. Um... Again, we don't really... I'm, I'm kind of assuming that we want to keep what we have for now. I'm sure the shotgun's worth a ton, but we definitely want to keep that. Although it's only one special dice once. A special dice combo. Oh, so maybe it gives you more than one die. I think we're going to keep that for now. Standing three. How well your trek is perceived by the native inhabitants of this land. Allow it to get too low and they might act with hostility. I hope that our um, comment on evolution didn't lower that. I didn't see that before, though, so I didn't. we don't know. We did not come to an agreement. Still three. Leave. Um, okay. That's fine. What's this? Local, we'll hesitate to follow you home after this expedition. Oh, That's too bad. Um, wow, it takes 10 energy to go through the swamp. Let's not do that. Now it's going to take three of our machetes? Oh. So we could get away with two machetes by going through the swamp. I think we're going to do that. New region. The swamp? Okay. Let's check it out. 
Examine shrine. This is what the elder was telling us about when we were in the village. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. The portal that led within emanated an eerie chill. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed safe enough to explore. Now, these red words are kind of freaking me out, especially because it's bolding cracks. Like, is this shrine just going to crumble up on us? Is it dangerous? Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. Uh, investigate the altar. So cool. I, I've mentioned this, but it's so cool how all of our characters appear on every um, waiting screen and how we can actually look at the stats of all of our characters. That's a really neat touch to the game. Charles Darwin has some serious dice action going on there. Uh, investigate altar. Oh. Golden Eagle. Golden Goblet. Do you know what you are doing? Can you talk to us? Can you tell us what we're doing? Because I have no idea. Uh, I think we're just going to take it off. We're here to loot. So let's loot. This was not a day of... He there was not a day of hesitation. An entire day? It wasn't even a second of hesitation. Well, maybe a minute. We did take probably about a minute to think about that. There was not a day of hesitation. We took the artifact from the altar. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shake wildly. We hurried outside as the shrine collapsed and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Cool. Oh, geez, that's a lot of mountains. I was thinking, like, just from under the shrine, but no, they mean, like, everywhere. Also, I like how we can see these mountains outside of our field of view. Um, just kind of emphasize that we screwed up. Well, you know what? We kind of do inventory. I don't know. What's this? How close your rivals are to reaching their expedition goal. What? Oh, man. Um, I, actually, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Do we go back home soon? How much each region has been explored? Okay. Well, let's check out this question mark here. Our energy is really taking a hit, though. We can't go through mountains at all. Man, maybe we should... We can't even get there. Let's turn back and go for this one over here. I think five. We could just plow through our machetes and get here quick. Let's do that. The other characters don't even start with machetes, so they can't be that necessary. Although you could say that about anything. Oh, cool. We got a nice vantage point there. Stone circle. Let's check it out. One machete. I think that's our last machete. Yeah. Enter stone circle. <laughs> Very cool. I'm loving this. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There was, there were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Analyze the inscriptions. No, just leave. Forget about it. Uh, we deciphered the inscriptions and found that they would help us to gain insight into a nearby area. Okay, I mean, we have the translator. That's fair. Oh, okay. Um, we can't move the map, I've noticed. From what I can tell, we can't actually... Oh, okay, we can zoom out. Good enough. So we only have these two points of interest here. We might... Oh, should we only have eight energy? I think we're going to make a trek back to the village to try and rest here. But let's see what this is over here. Waterfall. Yeah, forget about that. Let's go back to the village and rest. But we're going to have to eat one of these. I don't know if we're going to make it anyways. No, we're going to have to eat another one. Okay, now we'll make it to the village. So let's go back to the village. I wonder if they will find offense in us selling them their precious artifacts. Probably. But let's see. Oh, why was the text red? Was the text always red? Standing zero. Oh no. Um, Afrin, Afrin Tata began to converse with tomatoes. Recruit? Can't. What's your problem? Are we having an issue over here? Trade. Let's, can we... Oh, cool. Okay, so our standing will actually go up by trading them these. And we get money out of it, so really no harm done in the end. Let's grab these mangoes. Delicious, but they spoil quickly. You know what? And just to be safe, in case overnight actually takes time, let's trade for those mangoes after we sleep. Which means actually we're going to want to take our stuff back and just sleep. I hope they don't, like, attack us. They're not hostile yet. The villagers shared their food with us and we spent enjoying leaving. Do we get more food? No. Trade. Alright, so let's go for those mangoes. And then let's go for... 
The spear seems like a good idea. Oh, that's like slightly in their favor. Okay, what about... Alright, well you know what? That's fine. We can we can uh, settle for that. We'll just go for the three spears and five mangoes. I absolutely love mangoes, so I am completely down with selling priceless treasure for five mangoes. Um, leave. Now, we only have that one more question mark over here, but our sanity is going kind of terribly. We're not even on here? I don't know what we're supposed to be doing, honestly. <laughs> Should have done the tutorial. Let's um, try to explore a little more and then maybe leave? Do we just peace out on our ship? I don't know. Oh wait, well we shouldn't have come up here. That's becoming pretty obvious. Can we just rest again? Oh, but time passes. We get a region bonus. Like, it says we've explored all the locations in this region. So let's... The captain greeted me as we approached our ship this morning. Being here almost felt like being safe. Almost. Sail home. I had to ask myself again. Did I really want to abort this expedition? Abort? <sighs> Standing zero. We gave them the uh, artifacts, man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna abort this, I think, and then see what happens. Maybe we get a score for how we did on this expedition. I'm not sure. I had to come to terms with reality. We needed to leave as soon as possible, so we put our crates on the ship and set sail. The unexplored shall stay unexplored for today. Oops. Escaped. Current fame, ten. New fame, ten. We just doubled our fame. That's pretty good. So what are these numbers here? Twenty-five, fifty-one. Expedition 1. Days? 580? Wow. In 580 days, we had three pieces of animal meat and some... We didn't even eat the mangoes. Legs? 13. Oh, so that's how many times we moved. Average travel distance? 6. Visited locations? 5. World discovered? 72. That's not bad for our first expedition. Playtime? 50 minutes. Fame? 10. Finish? X. Open report. Oh. Nope. Finish expedition. Look at that trusty donkey. Triumph. Triumph. Thank you. Extraordinary. Oh. Are we done? Careerist. Promoting characters improves their loyalty towards you. Strong mind. Increased maximum sanity. Fresh air. Fanatic. Increased sanity. Gain when resting in nature. Um. Oh, shoot. We only have to choose one. I guess we get increased. Wait, we can rest in nature? Oh, jeez. Wait, we messed up. We gained 10, 10 fame, and Frederick Courtney Celis gained 307. Um, I feel like we didn't do something right. Museum, auction, I can't actually click on these, I don't know. Continue. Oh wait, so we're not done yet. So we can keep going. Now we are way behind our competitors. We have 10 fame or 20? and they currently have like 200. That's not looking so good. But I think we're going to end the episode there. Um, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I probably should look into more, or uh, maybe play the tutorial or something to see how what we're actually supposed to be doing. But nonetheless, I'm really enjoying the artwork, I'm really enjoying the music. Um, I love the small details, like how on the maps you can see your entire party. That's really cool. And like even modern games don't have that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, you'd go to a camp menu and it's just the portrait of your characters. But nonetheless, we're going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please like and leave